<laughs> What'd you do, Blair? <laughs> What'd you do? I got my protein powder confiscated. Hey, yeah, you did. I got searched. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of a first for us. But uh, yeah. Yeah, my protein powder was flagged for some kind of chemical, like a trace amount of some kind of chemical. So they had to check all my stuff. They had to pat me down and throw away my protein powder. I didn't know that could happen. Yeah. But now we do. Yep. with this uh, this uh, calm down for just a bit but I have a feeling though that the weather is on its way it's going to be quick weather but it's probably weather that's still going to you know be at least a half hour for us sitting here I'd like to stay in the airplane and uh, kind of just be ready to go when it passes but uh, we'll kind of play it by ear if that's okay with y'all and uh, let's go uh, switch here and so that's shut everything down so far in aircraft that were um, coming in are diverting or if they got enough fuel to hold they may hold just talking to the tower the big storm is just starting as you can see out there it's just uh, getting to overhead the airport there's another cell over Nellis up there to the north uh, east the general movement of this pattern is uh, northeast to southwest so you're certainly entitled to uh, let me know what your opinion is but uh, that's what we're uh, planning on at this uh, at this moment appreciate like your patience thank you <laughs> Welcome to the video guys. As y'all just saw, uh, we just got back in Vegas. So the little bit of footage that y'all saw was from the airport. And I guess this video today is just to kind of sum up our thoughts on Vegas. And I guess everything that we went through on our travels too as well. Obviously we didn't take the RV, but we, uh, this was kind of, I guess our vacation. It was my vacation, but I guess our vacation away from the RV too. I don't know. I guess you need that. <laughs> we don't really need it, but uh, it just kind of presented itself. We took it. We drove all the way to San Diego, up to Vegas, and then now flew back. So, yeah, I mean, it was very interesting. We Neither of us have been to Vegas, and so we just kind of experienced it for what it was. Very briefly, we didn't do a lot that we wanted to do, such as the Neon Museum. We didn't go see Red Rocks. We didn't see the Hoover Dam. <laughs> so we didn't what see did Grand we do? Canyon. <laughs> uh, we went to the Strip twice. We briefly saw the Strip. Um, the first time... 
a friend of ours wasn't feeling that great. Second time, we weren't feeling that great. Just kind of experienced it. Sound like and a then, blast. <laughs> I know. Well, but the rest of the time was fun. I mean, mm-hmm. we still saw a show and we felt good then. Yeah. Uh, so it's just we we planned it wrong on the days that we went to the strip. Either way, still had fun. Uh, we both want to go back. Uh, I want to go back for the gambling side of it. She wants to go back for the show side of it. Mm-hmm. Either way, uh, it, it was fun. It's definitely something that I don't necessarily know if I'd, I would take the RV. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. Like, I want to take RVs into nature more so or, like, long-distance traveling, which this is long-distance traveling in a way for us just because anything is long-distance whenever you live in Texas. We saw a Cirque du Soleil show. There's still plenty of magic shows that we can go back and see. I think there's, like, 15,000 Cirque du Soleil shows. Wait, what? No, there's, like, eight. Oh. I don't know. There's a bunch. It's, like, in total every week? I don't, no, no, I don't no. know what you mean. It really, yeah. I mean, there's a ton of shows. We really wanted to see Ka. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the big ones. Vegas itself is a lot. Like, it's... I, I knew it was going to be a lot. It was loud and there's a lot of people and of course it was hot. It was the summertime. So it's a lot to take in and as as somebody that I I kind of get overwhelmed really easily. uh, I just spent like the first time that we walked the the strip I was just like kind of just trying to to process it all. Um, There's just a lot to look at and a lot to see and a lot of noises, a lot of people and usually the trips that we take are kind of the opposite like we go on trips to kind of get away from that so it was a different mindset but it was definitely an experience it was something that we've never done before something to check off the list like we saw all of the cool the casinos we went into Caesars Palace we saw the the Eiffel Tower that's in Vegas so that was really really neat Um, yeah the fountains yeah um we played roulette it was the electronic one we played roulette so I had never gambled before so we tried that not something that I would do on a regular basis, but, again, it was just something, like, we did it. So that I mean, was neat. we did kind of win a little bit. Yeah. Not, not a lot, just a little bit. It was fun. So, I mean, we kind of experienced it for what it was. Like, there's obviously players clubs, and they want you to come in, and they have buffets and food and lights and mm-hmm. shows. We didn't really stay on. We were on the strip, but we weren't, really. We are kind of way down. But, I mean, still, it was so neat. And, like, we had pools to go swim in. It doesn't take much to impress us, really. (laughs) You give us a pool and you tell us to go look at something kind of neat, we'll stay there for a while. Yeah, and And the place that we stayed at y'all saw was really, really nice. It's like twice the size of the RV, so we were like we were able to stretch (laughs) out and there was a bathtub as big as the RV. (laughs) That's true. The kitchen was the size of the RV. Yeah. Um, So that was neat. See how the other half lives, you know. (laughs) <laughs> if that's the other half, I guess. I'm pretty sure there's a um, whole other half. So that was that was fun. I, Like he said, I don't know if we'll take the RV back to Vegas. Um, but I wouldn't mind going back to see more shows and to have a little bit more time to, to do the vegas things. But I mostly want to go back to that area so we can do the other stuff. Like a lot of you guys had commented on our last video talking about Red Rocks and surrounding places of Vegas. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's a completely separate trip separate trip in itself you go to vegas to do the whole vegas thing like the touristy thing but then i think you should go back to do the like the actual vegas stuff uh there's really a lot to do there a lot of stuff at night which we kept going to the strip during the day there was one time we went at night which is when we saw the bellagio fountain Mm -hmm. um and that was really neat and we also saw taco bell at night that was really good (laughs) yeah that was nice yeah that was nice (laughs) i'm hoping to go back maybe during the winter like Mm -hmm. november kind of time which to us is still summer i mean it's still hot here, here. in texas <laughs> so yeah we'll see um so that was that was neat the drive there was stressful and long because we we drove all in a little car for 20 hours this um, is the d- difference between us so she gets really anxious about anything so the drive over was actually really fine i didn't i wasn't tired i wasn't really anxious about anything i was just kind of there it was a long trip but it didn't really feel like as long as our trip to Colorado even no it felt even though longer. it was longer it felt longer see so we're a little different <laughs> but um, we flew back which was interesting <laughs> which also caused anxiety <laughs> I'm just not meant to do anything but yeah so we got to the airport and I haven't flown in three years I think and overall I've had three occasions to where I've flown now total in my life and so flying is still new and stressful to me, um, just because I never know what to expect. So this time, 
we got to the airport, we went through security, and they pulled one of our bags aside, the bag that had all the food in it. It was mine. Because we were taking food back, but it was dry stuff, you know, no liquids. Like, I made sure to keep all of my toiletries in the small containers and, and that I've kind of stuff. I've flown a lot, and so I know what usually can go through, and all the stuff I had was fine. Uh, but I guess there's an ingredient inside one of your things. Well, they had pulled the bag aside, and they had... I I had put my protein powder, what was left of it, in a Ziploc baggie with the scoop. So I, I think any powders they immediately kind of look at. Um, but they had pulled it aside and said that it was being flagged for some something, for some kind of ingredient um, that sets off their radars. But they couldn't tell me what it was, because they said that there's... A whole list of things that they scan for and it could be like the most minute amount of something that could be used in combination to create something possibly harmful so that was very vague but they they kept um, looking at it they searched all of the stuff and then they actually pulled me aside and had to pat me down so that was a new experience too um, standing there barefoot in the airport like this and you know in front of everybody and they're patting you down and then what they do is they pat they patted me down, and she said that after they do that, they test the gloves to make sure they don't you don't have any harmful residue, residue on you. Um, and of course, I cleared, but they had to throw away my protein powder or confiscate it. I don't know what they do with it. They start away. So that was a good start. And so we get on the plane, and immediately um, my phone goes off, and we get severe weather alerts. So I got a severe storm warning, and then there was a dust storm warning and then there was a flash flood warning all within the span of like 30 minutes so you guys heard on one of the clips the captain was talking about just sitting in the plane and waiting out the storm which we did and it was fine but of course you know as somebody that doesn't handle that kind of stuff well um i was sitting there freaking out and just trying to focus on not having and the captain was just like me where he was like i guess we'll wait if y'all want to it's up to (laughs) y'all He's like, I don't really care, basically. He didn't say that. He, he said everything but that last part. Like, we'll take, he even said, we'll take a vote if you want to. No, he said, he said, you guys can tell me your opinions, but that's what I decided to do. Yeah, but that's, like, he barely <laughs> decided to wait. Like, he just didn't, he, like me, just really didn't care. If, like, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But, yeah, Blair's a little different on the other, other side of that. So she's uh, kind of representing the other half of that being just super anxious. Get off. Get off the plane. We'll we'll rent a car. I don't know. We'll drive back. We'll stay here. But we, you know, we flew back and it was a couple hour flight. And then we got back home at 4, 4 a.m. Sunday morning. So Sunday was just a recovery day. We slept until almost noon. But overall, I think the trip was, the trip was fun. It was a new experience. Um, There were a lot of aspects of Vegas that I did like. There were a lot that I didn't. Um, All of the smoke and just you know, the, the whole partying atmosphere, but you can easily go to Vegas and get around that, you know, if you just avoid those times and those people. If like, you want to. I, yeah. I actually kind of like the smell, the smell of smoke. I like a lot of people being around. I like like-minded people. Uh, if there's too many people that are just acting kind of dumb, then that <laughs> kind of, fool. <laughs> then that kind of is annoying, but I never saw that even once Yeah, there. we didn't, but we, we didn't stay out super late. Yeah, we didn't go out to all did. the casinos or clubs or anything like yeah. super late, so I don't think we had the chance to see In other see words, that. we didn't even experience any of Las Vegas, and so that's why I want to go back. So, we saw it from a distance kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, we kind of were outsiders looking in. But I think that was a good, a good warm-up. Like, if we were to go back, I know more what to expect now. And yep. I wouldn't mind next time we go staying on the Strip. Because we did stay 10 to 15 minutes off of the Strip, so we had to take an Uber into town each time, um, but it would be neat to be staying on the strip and just walk outside of your hotel or resort or whatever and, you know, be on the strip. So yep. I think next time we're going to keep an eye out for some deals for places on the strip, which apparently there are a ton. There's a lot of them. Um, you just have to handle the flight there and, you know, food and everything. So I think it was a pretty cool experience. If any of you guys have been to Vegas or are from Vegas, uh, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you thought about Vegas. If you liked it, if you hated it. But I I think that's it. This is going to be it for today's video. If y'all did enjoy this video, make sure and hit that thumbs up. If y'all enjoyed any of the Vegas footage, hit that thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. Our next trip will most likely be Tyler. 
we're trying to figure out the logistics of it, when and where. Yeah, and, well, we know where. Um, working on his schedule, he's got a lot of side projects going on right now, so we're trying to kind of maneuver everything around it. But we'll keep you guys updated whenever we're going and what we can get into there. Yep, which I have no idea. I don't either. Yep. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, y'all have fun. Out there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>Recording, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. You have no get, control over what I put in the video. Left this year. Are you coming over or not? <laughs>